Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Mungara Stero, I will here. Hope you guys are doing well. This message is for uh, anybody who has placements in uh, Tauro, okay? Some Moon Rising or Venus, anywhere in your chart. Uh, if you happen to be cross washing for Tauro, you're welcome. Make sure you only take, it, take the message that resonates with you. Remember, this is a general reading. Uh, and leave the rest with somebody else, okay? If the message does not resonate with you, it could be just not your message, okay? So, without further ado, um, Tauro, let's get a um, guidance here from your guys and see what messages come forward for you here. And then we're gonna see what other messages come back for that, okay? So, let's see what's on your energy right now. What is the most important message here for Tauro? What do Tauro needs to know at this time? How to spare it? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Let's see what's the most uh, important message here from your guys, ancestors, or angels. Okay. We got card 18. That number could be significant. Okay. All right, Tarot. Let's see. Oh, we got three cards so far. Um, four cards. Okay. So a lot going on right now. Okay. 43. Okay. So um, lots of messages coming forward for you here, uh, Tarot. We have card 43. 21. We also have card um, 20. Okay. 42 and 18. Okay. So a lot happening right now for you here. So let's take a look. Okay. A card 18 right here. What is this message for you? We have Wisdom Guide, okay? Wisdom Guide is here to help you with in taking new information and teaching, whether you're taking courses, going back to school, or learning a new skill or craft. You will find that you are able to process and retain new information more easily. Wisdom Guide also helps you gain new insights and understanding through your intuitive channels, turning your knowledge into wisdom, okay? Some of you guys might have having some um, back, pain, neck, just put it out there, okay? That could be a, a thing for some of you, okay? You might feel like uh, tingling in your neck, okay? <clears throat> 42. It's just something I just channeled, okay? Before I do this reading. Okay, light body guide, okay? Lately, you may have noticed some strange thing happening within you. Your light body is moving into a higher vibration. And this shift, of course, you may not feel like your normal self. This guide has come to let you know that being absent-minded, forgetful, unclear, your thinking or feeling heart palpitations, or the strange sensations is perfectly normal. During this time, light body guides is a, is um and going is going to drink glass of water and get plenty of rest. The butterfly over his heart is a symbol for you to contemplate. He is here to reassure you that you'll be back to feeling normal very soon again if you're feeling those type of sensations around your body your neck some type of tingling or uh feeling lightheaded okay or uh forgetful or unclear about uh, your thinking it is absolutely normal okay this is your um your body raising to a new vibration here okay you're actually gaining a lot of knowledge and wisdom at this time okay so be gentle with yourself at this time okay you also have card 20 okay loved ones okay and it says your friends and loved ones who have crossed over want you to know that they are with you they are wrapping their loving energy around you and ask you to feel the peace serenity within your heart and mind about their passing they are living and enjoying the other side and deeply desire for you to feel peaceful within this world they ask that you surrender any painful emotions you are holding on to and allow their loving presence to flow within your heart, bringing forth peace and serenity, okay? Feel the loving energy and joyful life 
the gift of life here on earth okay so your loved ones wants to let you know they are watching over you at this time okay that are you being taken care of okay that if you have any worries and concerns just talk to them okay and release those worries and concerns in your prayers to them okay they will take that worry that concern from you okay make you feel better you also have card 21 receiving and then generically you are beginning to draw in the loving people you need to help you move forward on your path and in your life these people offer you both emotional and spiritual support so that you may feel your own value in the world remember you have just as much a positive effect in their life as they do in yours while what you have to give is very important, it's just as important that you allow yourself to receive too. In doing so, you're creating a beautiful energy exchange of growth and support for all. Okay, so uh, you are stepping into this receiving mode energy, okay? And it's, this is asking you to have this uh, equal give and take in your relationship at like this time, okay? So make sure that all the love, care, and support you give to others is the same love and care and support you should give back, okay? Keep things balanced. You are in receiving mode, so don't be always the one who give, 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 and don't receive back, okay? Uh, learn to receive from others, okay? It's time for you to have those um, equal give and take relationship in your life. And your guys are going to put those people in, in your path, okay? You also have card 43. Earth angel, okay? You truly are an earth angel. It is time to recognize and honor the beautiful spirit that you are. Once we are incarnated, we forget who, we, who and what we are. Now it is time to remember, claim your wings knowing that you really do make a difference in the life that you touch. You have many loving angelic beings with you to support you on your divine path. Feel, faith, feel safe in allowing yourself to follow the path that you are guided to walk. Whatever that path might be, you are ready to spread your wings and fly. Okay, so um, in case you didn't know, you are an earth angel here, okay? And, um, and it's time for you to recognize and honor that beautiful spirit that you are, okay? You have incarnated here. You might have forget where your, um, your path or um, you needed uh, uh, what your purpose of uh, life here in, the, in this uh, in your life. But um, your angels are with you at this time trying to uh, let you know that uh, you do make a different people's life, okay? So you came here uh, to bring love to the world, okay? what other messages come forward here what is your self uh, higher self would like to tell you at this time what is your higher self wants to tell you at this time space okay and it reads instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do create more sacred space in your schedule in your home your mind and your lungs and in your heart take time to just be today's all action do a clutter detox of your schedule home and innermost self make space clarity will come okay so it's time for you to create the secret space within you okay uh open your schedule for yourself as well okay be open-minded open your lungs and your heart okay take time to just be yourself okay so create that secret space in your lung, in your home okay that's what your soul wants to tell you at this time archangel all right now let's see what other messages come to here um what is coming towards you in the next couple of weeks? What's in your energy right now? What is happening in Tyler's energy right now? And what is coming in the next couple of weeks? Thank you.
all right so we have it is time to release negativity okay for moon scorpio you could be dealing with a scorpio okay you guys want you to release negativity at this time okay we also have bring love to the situation new moon in aquarius okay and we have hold your vision okay fixed moon so if you had this vision in your mind that uh or this dream or something that you're trying to uh achieve keep that vision hold that vision okay it's time for you to hold that vision bring love into the situation okay and release the negativity things that things people places and things that no longer serve you so you can create this new version of yourself it is time to bring love into your situation okay so let's clarify these cards uh, with the um angel oracle here and see what um time to do this negativity from scorpio is all about okay let's clarify these cards okay, so let's see it is time to release negativity from one Scorpio. What is this energy here? Angels. Okay. We have clear um clear nonsense, okay? I can do real. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you has their answers to your prayers, okay? If you are dealing with negativity your angels want you to pay attention to those ideas and and, and thoughts that come to your mind that's not the way they're trying to communicate with you those are answers to your prayers okay love bring uh bring love into the situation two cards came out we have relationship harmony okay archangel raquel we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved so arguments and conflicts are being restored now okay so you did a uh, problem with uh, people or relationships. Your angels are working with those relationships to bring harmony into those relationships, okay? And we also have outdoors, okay? Our time to feel. Go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas, okay? So uh, it is time for you to pour love into yourself. Actually go outdoor and, and, and get some fresh air, okay? Connect with nature here. Uh, relieve the stress, gain new ideas, uh, uh, be creative okay it is time for you to uh take out of the ordinary if you're at home body always being stuck at home you know your guys are actually telling you go ahead and, and and take the first step go outdoors enjoy life um go back to nature okay it is time to go outside get some fresh air okay get new ideas creative ideas contemplate okay if you're having problem with this relationship, you know, you know the Archangel Raquel is here helping you uh, bring harmony into your relationships as well, okay? If you feel stressed, just go out the door, okay? Get some fresh air. Connect with Mother Nature, okay? If you like plants, you can, you may want to start gardening at this time. Go ahead and do that if that makes you happy, okay? If you like flowers. All right. It's just a spot where you feel... Um, Comfortable being outdoors, okay? Hold your vision, fix me. You might be getting new gifts that uh, you didn't know you have, okay? It is time for you to trust your gifts, okay? You are an angel, and we all have gifted uh, gifts within us that sometimes we're not aware of. Okay, hold your vision. We have breathe, okay, Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release all patterns, okay? So if you're stuck in an old pattern, your angels want you to breathe and um, and release the negativity every time you exhale, okay? And uh, try to release that energy and release all patterns. So every time you feel you're stuck in something negative, just take it, take it, breathe, breathe, breathe in, okay? And, and uh, when you exhale, just imagine you're releasing that energy, okay? And um, and release all patterns that are holding you from your vision, okay? Let's see what other cards come here for you. Let me see. What is this uh, energy here? Oh, here, Vincent's and release negativity. What is this about, Holy Spirit? This is energy here. Pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come into your mind. There are answers from the prayers. And let's see what is this energy that you need to release at this time. Okay. What is 
happening here with Tiger. Okay, we have water element sensing, okay? You might be sensing there's something that's about to shift, about to change, okay? Um, you guys want you to go with the flow, okay? We have water element here. Number 40 could be significant. You could be seeing those numbers, okay? 444, 222, 12, 18, okay? It might be numbers that might be relating with you at this time. You could be between um, 20 to 40 years old as well. Okay. You don't have to. All right. Relation, harmony, outdoors, and bring love to the situation. What is this uh, energy here for you? Okay. We have blessings. Okay. Uh, bring love to the situation know that there's always blazing hitting in the skies here okay know that you are protected okay just uh, learn to sense and go with the world release those energies let it flow okay and be open to receive blessings okay there are blessings here um right now color blue could be significant here as well all right this time maybe to go near water okay what am I be telling you at this time to maybe you want a spiritual bath and you can do that with a little bit of sea salt, you know, and um, maybe some uh, essential oils and um, a little bit of sage, you know, clear your space, clear your mind, okay, and get that spiritual bath going, okay, release those negative thoughts and energies from your body, okay, we also have uh, to we breathe and hold your vision we have force okay it is time for you to take the first step okay force your way in to hold that vision okay um so definitely um you know this this actually this car after talks about changes as well so make sure that you are uh, taking the um the divine guidance to take the first step towards your vision okay Mar and Mars energy here, okay? Number five could be significant as well for some of you. What is this force and this vision? Let's clarify this a little bit. Okay. Sorry, my mom is fighting with the dog. All right, we have earth element and stability. So if you want uh, worry about your stability, don't be, okay? Just take that first step towards your vision, okay? It's safe to do yourself here. Um, know that you are protected as you uh, hold your vision, okay? Your stability is gonna be fine, okay? That's what I'm hearing, okay? If you worry about some sense of stability or some type of uh, way of changing things, do not worry, you are being guided towards your vision, okay? So your stability is going to be there firm, okay? You have nothing to worry about, okay? That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Let's see. Sensing what is coming towards the arrow when it comes to going with the flow of the water. Sensing here, what is this energy about? flowers okay be generous to see and most of the fulfillments are yours okay so be like gentle has a flower be generous towards others okay have that success emotional fulfillment will be yours okay let let let, let, let negativity low and flow as uh as the water okay and, and be generous with emotional fulfillment are yours okay you are gonna be fine as soon as you let go of these negativities, okay? Remember that you guys are giving you ideas at this time. Pay attention to those ideas and uh, thoughts that come into your mind, okay? Those are how you guys are answering your prayers. We have to have blessings here in relation to harmony and outdoors. Let's see what this message is about. Okay, we have luck, okay? We have, you are right to be strong and also make it about your opportunities ahead. So if you worry about relationship or uh, stepping out of your comfort zone, know that uh, luck is within you, okay? And you are 
a right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities that are lining ahead of you, okay? You're very lucky at this time. So trust your vision, okay? Trust your ideas, okay? Uh, they're there for a reason, okay? We also have stability and force and breathe and hold your vision. Let's see what is this energy about. Love. Okay, so this is all about love, okay? Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward possibly out there with your love. I love to bring love to the situation. Know that everything is going to be taken care of, okay? Your stability is going to be firm. Just take that first step towards your dreams, okay? And bring love to the situation, okay? Love surround you and all your connections. You have people that do care about you, okay? They are supporting you here. So move forward possibly in all areas of your life, okay? Know that love is in your side as well um, when it comes to your relationships, and um, stepping out of your comfort zone. So you have nothing to worry about. It's, it, it, the only thing you need to do is remain strong and optimistic about the future, okay? Be generous with yourself and bring uh, emotional fulfillment in your life, okay? Be that gentle flower within you, okay? Tauro, let's see what's coming. And um, do love for you. For those of you guys who are single, or those that need to know something about your relationship. All right, let's see. Let's come in for love for Paolo here. Okay. All right, so we have honeymoon, okay? Some of you might be going on honeymoon, okay? Enjoy the breeze of holiday time together, okay? Some of you guys are either planning a trip or spending uh, time with some loved ones, okay? And you guys want to do, to, to you know, to enjoy this breeze of holiday time together. Just remember, usually honeymoons don't last long. So just enjoy it. Make the best of it, okay? When it comes to uh, these trips or these things that you're planning, okay? Definitely somebody is about to show up in your life and it's time for you to step into that bliss of, of like, Feel the honeymoon vibe, okay? Uh, enjoy each other, okay? That's what I'm getting for you guys. Let's see what is coming uh, for money and career here. What are those um, talents do you know about? Money and career. Okay, quiet retreat. Definitely some of you are planning a vacation, okay? Uh, or if you don't know vacations might be coming your way. Alright. Could be something planned or unplanned, but know that you all guys will be taking some time to retreat yourself here. Okay, we have quiet retreat here. It is time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts, feelings, and your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Okay, it's time for you guys to um quietly retreat from yourself from the situations okay and disconnect from um uh, the outer world okay so you can have clarity in your life as well we also have donations uh tithing and charity work give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support you and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you may uh, many fold in miracles way the time supplies money other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies okay so it's time for you guys to donate donate to your uh to your church to your uh, um favorite charity okay uh and know that when you um support and, and inspire other people that uh, generosity will be returned to you uh, many folds, okay, in very miracles way. So it's time for you to um, take your supply, your money and resources and donate those uh, to somebody else who needs them, okay? Bring that positive energy that will multiply later on, okay? We also have exercise to increase your energy manifestation abilities, okay? The key to manifesting quickly is to have a very high energy level. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun, meaningful activity that you look forward to exercising and it becomes its own rewards, okay? So some of you guys, your guys want you to uh, exercise, okay? Be more physical, okay? Um, so it can... Um, upgrade your energy levels you might be feeling a little increase in your energy right now and your guys are telling you you know 
drink plenty of water get enough rest but also uh get a new physical routine okay in in your life so you can um relieve the stress and anxiety that the um the things from your life but also uh be um be having those energy levels back up okay and it'll become your own reward okay so get something maybe walk for 30 minutes every every other day or um pick up dancing or yoga or whatever it is that you consider physical uh activity here and whatever you enjoy try to um put that into your schedule okay tyra that's gonna bring you a lot of uh emotional rewards right now here okay um Let's see what gift uh, you could have or what is this. It seems like some of you could be working from home, okay? You could be, uh, some of you guys could be um, homemakers here, okay? When it comes to uh, your love life here or your, uh, or your personal life, okay? But it's time to maybe get out of your normal routine, okay? Let's see. How is this our angels um kids here to be shared with others? Okay, beautiful energy. Got a couple cards here, okay, for you. Alright, so we have a couple of cards here for you, alright. We have the empath. So some of you guys are empath, okay? You pick up energies from others, okay? You can uh, feel a room you can feel how somebody feels you might um there's a lot of different implants you can look that up there are um your macro implants there are plant implants there are animal empaths there are a whole bunch um but usually an empath can pick up energies uh, around them okay and, and feel uh how others might feel okay this card said, learn to protect your sensitivities and cultivate boundaries to create a safe space in which you and your desires to be of service can thrive. So some of you are very empathic and you can feel the energy around you, okay? But it's also with this card, you need to learn to um, protect yourself from energies, okay? And release what, what is not yours. So breathing in out those en those energies and releasing it out to the universe is a good way to practice uh, releasing energies that are no yours, okay? We also have the visionary here, okay? You could have a lot of ideas. Okay, the visionary. Developing habits and actions will help you turn your visions into reality will guide you on your path to ultimate success and happiness. So right now, you'll probably have a whole bunch of ideas uh, flowing through your brain, okay? And it's time to just at least take a couple of habits or action towards those visions, okay? And make that vision a reality, okay? Uh, you do have a vision within you. And if it got give you a vision, it's because it is what you're meant to do. It is something that you must um, do in this lifetime, okay? We have to have the balancer, okay? The balancer. Soar beyond our limiting concepts and embrace your spiritual self. In this place beyond female and male, where we all truly are one energy. So, some of you guys are uh, balancing your inner feminine and masculine energy at this time. Or you could have a partner uh, that you guys share this um, inner um, female and male. Okay? And it, it is it is time to balance your connection here. Okay? So we have the balancer here and just see how um, in this brain, this guy has the, the twin flame logo here. So you definitely are balancing your female and um, male energy at this time, or you are doing that with your partner, okay? We also have the grace, okay? And it says, the grace is to forget yourself and anyone else in your situation, even if you or they do not deserve it. To forgive is to mirror the divine forces who love us, okay? So if you are uh, finding it hard to forget somebody, you guys want to let you know that it is time for you to uh, maybe forget yourself in this situation or anyone, anyone else involved, okay? You're going to feel better when you forgive. Don't forget for them. Forgive for yourself, okay? And when you forget somebody, it mirrors the divine forces who loves us, okay? Uh, bring love to the situation. If you are not in talking terms with someone or... Um, or, or, or in a situation, it is time to bring grace into the salute and through into your life, okay? You know, 
um, forgive yourself and learn to forgive others, okay? It's going to bring you big rewards at the end, okay? We also have the hopeful, okay? So lots of gifts here are entered for you. The power of the prayer meditation can wake you up, renew your faith, and help you attune to your needs and align with your deepest truth, okay? So it is time for you to be hopeful about the future, about your vision, okay? Um, meditate every day. Um, take the power of the prayer. Pray to whoever it is that you believe out there. Is it a, is it a God? Is it um, your angels, your ancestors, your whatever it is that you pray to? Uh, take time every day to renew your faith, okay? It will help you attune your knees and align with your deepest truth, okay? So take time to pray. Be hopeful that things will... Uh, come into balance very soon. You do have that balance of energy within you. You do have that grace within you to learn to forgive others and to forgive yourself, okay? You have this vision in your mind that is talking to you to pursue it, okay? So uh, be gentle with yourself this time. You are being you being very empathic to uh, people, places, and things, you know, um, can be a blessing, but also can be a curse, you know? You're picking up negative, negative neg energies, out there that are not yours and you need to learn to um to release those energies okay so um your loved ones ancestors are telling you, you have any stress any negativity anything that you need to release that release it to us okay we'll take care of that worry that concern those negative thoughts uh, out of your mind okay it is time for you to be welcome to receive energy okay you an earth angel a uh light worker here on planet earth you came here with a with a mission, okay, to serve others, to help others, and you're gonna do that through, uh, through love, okay. That's how, um, how uh, how powerful you are. Bring love to the situation, okay. Balance uh, the skills here, balance the vision that you have, and and be hopeful that your relationship with others can change as you learn to forgive yourself and forgive them too, okay. Uh, if there's anything worrying you, just Take a minute every night to pray, okay, Kairos? And um, you'll see the rewards eventually, okay? You'll learn to grow spiritually as well, okay? All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a universe message here for you. And I'm going to go ahead and move on with this uh, the zodiac signs. That you could be dealing with at this time or uh the people that are in your energy okay and also then we're gonna move towards um numbers and synchronicities you could be seeing at this time and some charms of the things you might be seeing in the next couple of days it might tell you this reading is for you okay so let's see let's get to a universe an universe message Okay, and we have karma is on your side. Okay, you're in a good side of karma. Okay, it says karma is on your side. Okay, if you could read all the minds that I read here, all the prayers that I hear, and beat all the hearts that I beat, I wonder if you even believe how often you thought of talk about and falling in love with is payback time. Andale, andale, the universe, okay? So is there anything that you worry, if you worry about karma or you think uh, if somebody is receiving karma for something or a situation that they do know that karma is on your side, okay? Um, so that's a good energy to have here, okay? Now let's see. Well, um, I think I picked them all up. Let's see. I can't see. Yeah. No. This one over there. I am doing this blind. All right, guys. Let's see. What are the energies in your... Uh, in your life right now? Okay. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Cancer, a Gemini, a Scorpio. Okay. Heavy on Cancer. Okay. And, um, and heavy on Virgo. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. We have uh, numbers seven, two, eight, and four. You could be seeing those numbers seven, 
seven could be significant here um number 24 could be a significant number 72 number 82 okay 47 48 okay i also see 666 okay and 999 those are the numbers you could be seeing at this time okay let's move up to the charms the things that you could be seeing at this time okay okay all right so you could be uh looking into uh maybe astrology or something like that uh we have an astronaut here as well uh, maybe all these things are calling your attention to be seeing uh, pictures of astronauts or things like that. We also um, have a um, seahorse, okay? So water could be significant here, okay? Um, you might be seeing pictures of seahorse or things like that, okay? Um, trees, okay? You might live around trees or um, you can even still have your Christmas tree up. I don't know. All right, let's see. We also have the alpha uh the alpha tower here okay you may want to go to travis paris or um you could have those towers in your, within your home you know has decorations and whatnot we also have two hearts here linked together so you could be worried about love or a relationship with someone here okay that could be in your mind as well um you might be dressing up very soon you might be seeing dresses okay um I'm dressing up for an occasion here okay we also have a cross okay you could be seeing cross at this time okay you could be dealing with a legal matter as well here i see a um a, a little toot here trying to uh you know have a say here bring conflict or whatnot we also have uh the cops here okay freedom okay uh, you could be dealing with a police here, a legal matter here. Uh, we also have a peace sign here. Okay. And you could also be seeing crowns at this time. Oh, just a little crown here. All right, Taro. Is this message resonates with you? Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I would like to have you. And I'll see you guys in my next video.